Hello everybody. Our middle school math video today is about fraction fundamentals. The lesson is converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. This is a mixed number. It's called a mixed number because it is a mix of a whole number and a fraction. Often in math, we need to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. The first thing you should know is that anytime you convert a fraction from one form to another, the denominator always stays the same. So your first step is to write in the same denominator. Next, we need to figure out what the numerator is. To do this, you take the denominator in your mixed number and multiply it by the whole number. Next, you would add the numerator. So in this example, we would have 3 times 8 which is 24, and then we would add 2 to get 26. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Remember step number one is to write in the same denominator that you are working with. In this case we have a 7. To figure out the numerator we go through two steps. It's 7 times 5, which is 35, add 4 to get 39. Okay, in this example, we have a denominator of 9, so we start off by writing that in, and then we figure out the numerator by going through two steps. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 5 is 32. When students are just beginning, it's normal to write in these arrows with these cues here so that they know to multiply and add but it isn't necessary to do that. So let's practice four more examples without drawing in those arrows. In our first example, we are working with a denominator of three, so we start off by writing that in. Then to get the numerator, we do multiplying and adding. Three times four is 12, plus two is 14. In this example, we have a denominator of five, so we start off by writing that in. Then we do 5 times 6, 30, add 3 to get 33. Alright, two more examples to go. In this example here, we have a denominator of 6, so we start off by writing that. And then to find our numerator, we will do 6 times 7, is 42, plus 5 is 47. In this example, we have a denominator of 8. So we'll write that in first. Then we'll figure out the numerator. We'll do 8 times 9, 72, plus 7 is 79. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward. I hope this video helps. Keep on trying and remember that practice makes progress. If you're interested in worksheets to practice this, there is a download link in the description.